Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in comments below. Today what we're going to be doing is we've got this really great worksheet. The name of the worksheet is called Air Balloon Math. And before we start with this, what this worksheet is going to be dealing with is adding and subtracting by tens. And there's lots of different ways that we can find the answer to these problems. Um, I'm going to show you just a couple of different techniques that we can use to help us solve these problems. But basically, we are working with tens. And and that's the most important part of this right here is working with tens. So what we're going to be doing, the directions say, let's add and subtract by 10. Check only the air balloons with correct equations, okay? So I'm going to show you first, let's look at this first one. The first balloon says 17 minus 10 equals 9. And if that is the correct answer, if this up here is equal to this down here, then we're going to put a check next to it. But we have to check to make sure if it's correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come over to the side and I'm going to show you a few different ways to do this problem. And you can, whenever you're doing this on your own, you can decide which way works best or is easiest for you. So let's start with writing out the equation. So I'm going to write 17 minus 10 equals 9. That's what our equation says. And this is our answer over here by itself. And this is our equation that we're solving. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be checking this over here first and figuring this out. And if this is equal to this number right here and they're the same in the end, then I know that that's correct. So I'm going to start first 17 minus 10. Well, let's really talk about what does that mean when we say 17 minus minus 10. And the key thing is the tens in this number. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to write out something. This is called a T chart. And we call it a T chart because it looks like, well, it looks like a lowercase t, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to plug into our numbers or we're going to plug our numbers into this T chart to help us solve the problem. So before I do this, I'm going to label up at the top. This is ones, units of one, and this is tens over here, okay? So we're looking for ones and tens. So when we start, we take our first number, which is 17, and we're going to plug it into our T chart. So we've got one and seven. And what this actually means is there are seven ones in this number or units, single ones, and then there is one group of tens in this number, okay? And then over here, we've got the number 10. So I'm gonna plug this down below. And that means I have one 10 and no ones left over, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to solve this problem and I'm gonna solve it like this, where it's vertical, where everything's up and down. So I'm going to first, I'm going to start with the ones column. We always start over here first. And we've got seven minus zero equals what? Well, if you have seven and you don't take away anything or zero, then you have seven, right? And then the next one over here, this is one minus one. We've got one group of tens minus one group of 10, which equals what? It equals zero, right? If you take something away, then you don't have any of it anymore. If you take the same number away, there's zero. So zero seven is actually just seven. We don't say zero seven, we just say seven. So this is actually what the answer is. 17 minus 10 equals seven. Well, what we're trying to determine is, does this equal this? So over here, is that right? 17 minus 10 equals well, it's not the same as this, right? This says nine. So that's actually not the correct answer. So we're not gonna put a check over here. But also, sometimes we can make a mistake, right? We make mistakes all the time. I make mistakes every day. But we wanna go back and check and make sure that this may be still incorrect. It might be correct, it might be not correct, but we wanna see if our math was correct. So another way we can do it, I can show you another way over here is we're going to do this. We're going to start with our first number, the biggest number, which is 17. Now, I don't remember if you have ever used 
um, base 10 blocks. But base 10 blocks are those little tiny, they look like little cubes. And what you do is you use those to help you figure out numbers. And they're really great when we're working with tens, which is what we're doing today. We're adding and subtracting by 10. So the way you use base 10 blocks is this. We start with 17 and also we can use this chart over here to help us understand the number 17. So how many tens are in the number 17? There's one group of tens and how many ones or single units are in 17? Seven, right? So do you remember those base 10 blocks? They look like this. They're like little cubes, right? And like that equals one. And if you have more like this equals two and you keep adding those up, but then when you get to 10, that's a lot of little cubes. So instead of having all these little individual cubes that you have to count, they squish them together like this and it looks like a big column and there's 10 of them in this big column. So if I were to count them out one, two, three, there would be 10 of these all together. So this equals 10. So what we're gonna do when we do the number 17 is this. I've got one group of tens, okay? So that's a column like this. And I've got seven units like this one. So I'm gonna do one group of 10 plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And how much are we gonna take away from this number here. Well, we're gonna take away 10, right? So instead of counting and taking away 10, we can just, eh, we can cross that out right over here because we know that equals 10, and then we're just gonna count up whatever's left. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? We've got seven cubes, which equal the ones Okay, so that is our answer. That is seven. Once again, when we use base 10 blocks, we came up with seven. So both of these have told us that seven is the correct answer, not nine. So on this one, eh, we're not gonna put a little check here because that's not right. So I'm just gonna skip that one, okay? I'm gonna go on to the next one. That was a lot of math for one of them, right? We don't have to do a bunch of different ways on each one. I'm just showing you a couple of different ways. So the next one here, this is three plus 10 equals 13. So we've got three plus 10 equals 13, okay? And we can plug it into our T-chart, okay? Just like this, like we did before. We've got our 10s over here, and we've got our ones over here, uh, O for one and T for 10, and then we're gonna plug it in. So we've got three. Make sure you put it in the right place. It's not three tens, it's three units of one. So I'm gonna put it on this side plus 10, I've got one unit of 10 and zero units of one. I'm gonna add these up, so three plus zero, remember, because we're doing addition, okay? Three plus zero is three, and then I've got one group of 10, so I'm just gonna add that down here, so that gives us the total number of 13. Does that match what this said right here? It does, so that is correct. So I'm gonna put a check right here. If you like it better doing the units, you can also check it that way. So let's just do it for fun. Let's write out the base 10 blocks because before we did subtraction, this time we're gonna do addition, so it's a little bit different. So let's practice what it looks like with addition. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have three individual units of ones. You remember over here it's just three ones. So I'm gonna go one, two, three and I'm just gonna add on to this. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna do anything like separate. It's all gonna squish together because it's adding. That's what we're doing when we add, we put them together. So on this one, the next one is three plus ten. Well I could write out ten individual units, but do you remember what we do when it's tens? Instead of doing the individual unit, we just squish it together with a big column of 10, okay? And then that's our answer. We just have to figure out what it is because we're squishing them together, we're adding them together. We've got 10 plus three, so we just count on. So 10, 11, 12, 13, right? So that's our answer, 13 once again. And that matched the original answer that they gave us 13, so that's correct. We put a check right next to it, okay? All right, that one was pretty easy, wasn't it? Let's move on to the next one. We've got 14 minus 10 equals four. Here's another subtraction problem. Let's write it over to the side. We've got 14 minus 10 
equals four, okay? Which way do you wanna do it? Do you wanna do the T-chart or would you like to do the base 10 blocks? What do you think would be more fun? I don't know about you, but I really like those base 10 blocks. Those look, to me, when I look at it, I get it. I get it really easily because it's like a picture and I love pictures. So let's try this. Let's do 14 in base 10 blocks. So 14, you remember, just to remind you, I'm gonna write this to the side. This equals one, and one of the columns, those big long ones, that equals 10, okay? So come over here, let's do it. We've got how many units in the number 14? We've got four, right? So we're gonna write out one, two, three, four. How many tens do we have in the number 14? We've got one column of 10, okay? And then we're subtracting 10 from this number. So, so so subtracting this, we're just gonna we're gonna cross that off, right? That's not here anymore. And we're just gonna add up whatever's left, which is what? One, two, three, four. So our number or our answer is gonna be four. Does that match their answer? What did they put here? They put four, didn't they? So that is correct. This is a correct equation. So I'm gonna put a check right here. Okay? All right, let's go on to the next one. We're doing really great. We've got 10 plus 10 equals 20. Oh, I like this one because we've got 10 in both of these. These are actually doubles and you might already know what the answer is. But let's come over here. We've got 10 plus 10, so write it out. 10 plus 10, and we'll see if the answer is correct, is 20. 10 plus 10 is 20. So what would you like to do? Would you like to do the base 10 blocks or would you like to do the T-chart? Let's do the base 10 blocks. I really like it. Let's do it again, okay? We've got 10, so 10, okay? Remember, column of 10 plus 10. Let's add it up right over here. 10 plus 10 equals what? 10 plus 10. Well, what we can do is we can just add on. And if you've ever counted by 10, so have you ever done that? 10, 20, 30. So we've got 10, 20, right? If we count by 10s and we put them together, it's gonna equal 20, okay? Let's also try it with a T-chart over here. Let's do that again just for fun, okay? Let's do a T-chart. We've got our ones place and we've got our tens place over here. 10, let's plug it in, one, 10, and zero ones, and we've got one column of 10, zero units of one, add it together, zero plus zero is zero, one plus one is two, okay? And we got, once again, we got the answer 20, and everything matches up, this is all correct. So that is a correct equation. We're gonna put a check right there next to that equation, okay? You're doing awesome, we're halfway through this, okay? Here's the next one. We've got one plus 10, equals 12. And you know what? When we have little small numbers like this, I don't know about you, but I think writing out this whole thing, I think I can just do it in my head. Let's do this. We can just take 10, okay? Think about 10 and add on. So what is one more from 10? If we were to count up on a number line, let's write out a number line. That might be easier, okay? So let's say we have a number line and we've got our zero and we count up one, two, and we keep going, three, four, we've got 10, right? We go all the way up to 10, and then we've got some more numbers over here, okay? What would be the number after 10? If I just move one place, 10 plus one, what is that gonna be? Nine, 10, 11, right? That's our answer, is 11. One plus 10 is 11, think about it. One plus 10 is 11. So is this a correct answer? Nope, it's not. It's not 12, it's 11. If you're still not sure, if you couldn't just think about that or you can't do it on the number line, we can still plug it in if you want to. Let's do this, let's write it out. One plus 10, okay, equals, and they said it was 12, all right, but I don't think that's right, I think it's 11. Let's check, let's do our base 10 blocks. So we've got one unit, we add it together with a column of 10, so we take 10 and we add one unit onto that, so 10, 11, once again, we have 11. Does that match? Nope, it's 11, so that one's not correct. I'm not gonna put a check on that one. Let's go down to the next one. We've got our fancy green balloon here. We've got 16 minus 10 equals five. Let's see if that's correct. 16 minus 10 equals five, okay? Let's plug it into a T-chart. We've got our T-chart, we've got our ones place and our tens place. We've got our number 16. That means one 
column of 10, six units of one. Over here, 16 minus 10, we've got one column of 10, zero units of one. Okay, we're gonna subtract. Six minus zero is six. One minus one is nothing. We don't say zero six, we just say six, right? So that's our answer. Does this match with this? Nope, it doesn't, so that's not correct. I'm not gonna put a check mark right here because the answer is six. If you're still not sure about your math, you can go back and do your base 10 blocks, but I think I'm getting pretty good at this, so let's move on to the next one. We've got eight plus 10 equals 18. I don't know if you've noticed a pattern yet with our tens, but when we add a number to 10, what happens to that number down here on this side? Have you noticed? It becomes this number right here, doesn't it? So I think this is right. I started to notice that pattern earlier. Patterns help us to figure out numbers really well. But let's go ahead and check it. Let's put it in to a T-chart again. Let's do that, okay? We've got our tens place, our ones place. We've got eight, don't be confused. It's not eight groups of 10, it's just eight by itself. So it's gonna be over here, it's gonna be eight units Okay, and then I've got plus 10, which means one group of, or one column or group of tens and zero units by themselves. I'm gonna add them up, eight plus zero is eight, one plus nothing is one. My answer is gonna be 18, is that correct? Yes, that's correct, so we're gonna put a check right there. You are doing so awesome, oh my goodness. We've got one more to do, okay? Let's write it out, it's 19, minus 10 equals nine. 19 minus 10 equals nine. Let's do our base 10 blocks because that's my favorite. Let's end on that one, okay? We've got 19, so we need to write it out and I'm gonna show you just one last time. This equals one, a whole column represents 10 of these stuck together. This equals 10, okay? So this is just to remind us. So we've got the number 19. How do we write out 19? We've got one tens, right? one column of tens plus nine, or not plus, but stuck together, so nine here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay? And we're gonna subtract 10 from this number. So take away 10, mm, there we go, take it away. Then we're just gonna figure out how much is this right here. I'm gonna circle whatever's left over, so count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the answer is nine. 19 minus 10 is nine, is that what they said? Yep, it is, great job. So we're gonna put a check right over here because they got it correct. Oh my goodness, you guys are so awesome. You did an awesome job today. You should be teachers, look at you. You checked all of these math problems, which one was right, you made sure you checked all your numbers, you did it different ways. Great job today, I'm so proud of you. I will see you guys again next time, bye-bye. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.